today we were going to be going over some commands dealing with text files in MS-DOS. I took some notes on the memory that we saved from the commands we put into our config.sys and autoexec.bat files. So to take a look at the file I created, we'll need to use the type command. And that is going to display the contents of the text file on the screen. And we need to say what the file is that we're going to have displayed, and that is c colon backslash memnote.txt. And as you see here on the screen, these are the notes that I typed out the commands that we entered into the configsys or autoexec.bat file and the amount of memory that each particular item saved. Now to take a look at how I did that, we'll need to explore the copy command. Typically copy is used to move files from one place to another, like from a floppy disk to a hard drive or vice versa. In this case, we're using copy con which con refers to the console or keyboard. What this does is capture any input that's typed in on our keyboard. And we need to tell copy where to put the file or what file to create. So we'll need to tell the copy command what file to create. In this case, I wanted to create c colon file1.txt. Here we are at a blinking cursor, and we're able to type now. So the message I want to type is... This is our first file. Now, to end the capture from the keyboard and to complete the creation of the file, press Control Z, so you see the little caret symbol and the Z on the screen, followed by Enter. And so we see one file was copied, and if we look at our directory, we now have uh, file1.txt. You can now also type file1.txt and see the contents of the file. For the purpose of the next part of the demonstration, I will need to create a second file. Now, we have an option to combine the contents of two of these text files, also using the copy command. File1.txt plus File2.txt to c colon backslash file3.txt. So now if we type in dir, we see we now have a file3 and we can type file3.txt to see what it contains. So it contains both lines one from the first file, one from the second file. We also have the option to add an additional line to the end of the text file. And how that works is with copy, and then we're going to input the file3.txt plus con to, I'm going to save it to the same file, we're prompted if we would like to overwrite that file. I am going to say yes to that. And now we have our blinking cursor again where we can input more text. A new line was added to this file. Control Z, enter, file was copied. File3.txt. And now, as you can see, that contains all three lines of text. The line from the first file, the line from the second file, and the line that we added to the third file. So one last thing I'd like to go over here is that you can sort the order that these items appear in when this is displayed on the screen using the sort command followed by a less than symbol that is telling DOS to send this file to the sort command. And that is going to be c colon backslash file3.txt. And so as you can see, it has changed the order of the lines in the file. There are some switches available for the sort command. we get the file displayed in the reverse order. The default is alphabetical, and this is displayed Z through A. 